Actually, no, I bet MC though. Yeah, okay, you didn't want to go there. getting him on it, trying getting him on the horse. 
couldn't get him on it. He wanted to, he's like, I want to be the only graduate with a picture on the horse. <laughs> um, and, you know, we, had, we didn't get him on the horse. He just couldn't buy the horse. He had pictures of the attendants so and just all over the building. And we just walked around for a bit. And he just like, didn't want to leave. And he was really, really proud. And I met him when he was a freshman. And I know that he had a really hard time through the years, but he never stopped fighting. He never quit. And he could have. He easily could have just got the heck with school. He was always such a good person, and I have always fond memories of him. Every time I spent with him in my office was just, you know, full of spirit. He was always so kind, so generous. And I, he was one of the first kids I saw every single morning. Because I have morning duty, and he would come in, and we would walk every morning. And, you know, he was just... I'm, I'm heartbroken for his family. I'm so sorry for your loss, and I know he was proud. So forever a Mustang in my mind. He really was. It was really important to him. We got to middle school. My brother's telling me, "Go." So I have class with Juan Rosa, and he's like, "I'm like, guy, right, cool." And he's like, "But, but he yelled at everybody. He was like, don't call me Muhammad. Call me Aba." <laughs> so from from that day until the current day, in 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 our hearts, in our in our household, he was he was always referred to as Aba. But like the stories, they didn't end there. Um, one time, this is in Ford's Middle School, for those of um, you guys that went to Ford, there was, there was a new hallway that just got built. They were doing something in the roof. So like the roof was open. My brother comes over and he's like, Yorosa, Yorosa. I'm like, oh, whatever, I, I come she home taking a nap. And he's like, it's no I'm like, what? And he was like, yo, open the snap. And I open snap, and it's a video of Ava climbing in the roof. <laughs> Jumping up the bathroom floor, climbing in the roof. That was one of the funniest things that I've ever seen. And I just remember laughing. And he, was, he was just such a, a kind person. He was such a kind soul. Like, the only way you didn't know him is if you were, like, walking with your eyes closed. Like, you literally had to know him. There is no way that if you crossed paths with him, you didn't know who he was. He was just that type of person. He always on his own type of time, always had his own internal motive. You never knew what he was up to. You never knew what he was going to do. You never knew what he was going to say. But he was just, he was the light of the room, he was saying. He's definitely got a part in this, too, because this is the world. He had a part in this, too. We appreciate all of you guys, like from the bottom of our hearts, the family, you know, the his father is here, like his mother. I mean, like the stories that I can tell are just so many. Like the the, the father mm -hmm. is the type of person to, you know, I say these things, but like if there's two slices of pizza left, this is my uncle. You know, if there's two slices of pizza left, you would grab two of those slices for a mama. And I'm like standing there, I'm like. But it's okay because that was, you know, that was the love that he showed. But he would go back and get me a slice somewhere else. But that's just how much love these guys and everyone had for Muhammad. And like I said, on behalf of the family, on behalf of, you know, his sisters, um, all of us cousins. Uh, I don't know if he, if he told you guys, uh, but we come from a very, very big family. I mean, like, I can probably count 50 to 60 cousins here right now. Like, we came from a very big family. Um, so on behalf of all of us, you know, thank you so much for coming out. It means the world to us. And I, I think there's more stories that keep coming up. So here's another story for you. I mean, I, I'm his older cousin, but I won't be here to like the way I reach out to like, you owe me that $100. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me that, but, um, you know, well, I didn't hear that one from him. I, I didn't hear that one. So, I know there's so many other stories. I just want to end it off on that. And if you have any questions, let me know.
ever argue or anything, you know, you would just go away. Yeah, with that, with that being said, if there's anything that Mohammed, Abbas, Amiga, Zom had, if there's anything that, you know, I'm sure he didn't, but if there's anything that was left behind or we can make up for it, please do advise us. Um, with that being said, if we can just take uh, a moment of silence um, and recite some prayers for him, uh, this would be very beneficial. Thank you so much. my younger cousin and uh, for the last like eight nine years I wasn't here in his life I was in and I was uh, out of New Jersey but I remember when he was a very young little kid uh, he was full of energy and like he was he was you would say one thing to him he'd, he'd be just like he'd be ready to go all right so in his generation of my cousins he was the youngest all right and uh, one time uh, I don't know, I, I guess I like instigated a fight in between all of them to see who'd win. <laughs> and I knew I knew Muhammad he would be the one who he'd, he'd, he'd be he'd take that seriously. And that's why I instigated it. And like this guy, he beat up all my cousins in his age. Like every single one of them. Like he he was the youngest, but he was like <laughs> That's how it was. Honestly, like he I, I, there's so many, so many stories that we can say and continue. We could be here all night. But that's literally how he was because I told him, I was like, Mom, Muhammad, you are so annoying. I can't wait till you're 18. So it's legally allowed. And I was like, we're going to have a boxing match. So literally I got, I got, I was engaged. His birthday is July 29th, right? July 29th. And